What's poppin' everybody? It's the Sable Fighting 4 on the Whimsy G Players channel. Just gonna show you guys my Alabasta VV deck today. I did my best to make it work, but it wasn't enough. I don't believe there's much wrong with my deck list, and I'm gonna explain why. It's just that it's very difficult to make this leader work. Uh, when she came in OP4, she was one of those leaders that can attack. Before then, I think we had um, Iceberg, maybe a couple of others. I can't really think of, but they were just starting to make these leaders that can attack. Even right now, we don't have too many. It's her, Rebecca, maybe Iceberg. I can't really think of too many others. And to balance that out, they thought, okay, we're going to give her dual color, and she's going to have five life as opposed to four that all the other dual colors have. And the effect is kind of solid. I mean, when you can get it going, if you have enough dons, like if we started with 10 dons, both players started with 10 dons, then yeah, maybe she would have been broken because you can gain the effect immediately and give rush to the strongest characters. But you kind of have to wait a couple of turns to really make use of this. Her effect is you can just suspend two dons or rest two dons from your cost area. You get to draw a card and give one of your characters rush. So to utilize this, it means that you have to give something rush that you just played down this turn. Otherwise, it's pointless. And you need to give something rush that can actually just go for life and put some pressure on your opponent. Something that has at least 5,000 to attack leaders. Um, so minimum, you know, you're going to need three, three dons to summon something, let's say. If you're going to summon a vanilla three for five. And then spend two extra dons to give him rush. Now, when you consider you get, you get things like Zoro that cost three and they got rush built in. Then it's not a very good trade-off. You draw a card too, but it's still not the greatest. You get the best benefit if you can summon big characters like this king and give him rush. Then you're getting somewhere. You can put a big body, put immediate pressure, and um, yeah, gain additional effects of the character, I suppose. That's basically VV. Now, given all of the good cards we have now that we get, a lot more sets, a lot more cards entering the game, you know, having five life as a dual color isn't really that special. I mean, you can do like a mono color, Julie Bonnie, you could do like blue, you can do anything, and they're gonna have enough cards to have a variety of strong cards to choose from and text to put in. So it's cool, you can use red and blue, but five life just isn't that special. And you get pudding too as well, which just resets your big ass hand, and that's also just a terrible counter, as I explained in other matches. Okay, so the best way to use her, I found, is to run a lot of defensive stuff so we can last. I decided to make use of Igaram because he's a searcher. You can get Alabaster stuff and he's sort of, uh, they sort of synergize with her so might as well just utilize them. Other people use like the Nami uh, Straw Hat Luffy engine, but this way it works too. I mean, this guy, if they don't kill him, uh, he's going to be able to keep searching turn after turn, so they always got to just burn an attack to kill him. We got enough decent alabaster cards that we can use for. This is the primary one you want to utilize, something that you can exclusively use with VV. Your leader has to be VV for this guy to work. But it's good. I mean, he's a 3 for 5 standard, and then, you know, he can give an opponent's character minus 3,000, and then you can pop something with zero cost too. So, you can make something that's 3k, zero, and pop it, or if they have something else that has zero, pop it. He's a pretty good power attacker. Just attack some big characters, maybe run them over. He's good. So we run him, and I run the Koza too for the Alabaster cards. Just a, a 3, 4, 5, I guess, if you use his effect. Plus the 2k counter, searchable with Igaram, makes sense. I got the Super Spot Build Duck Squad, which the name is different in my head in both the original Japanese version and the Funimation dub. But anyway, I never want to summon this card. It's bad the way I see it. Uh, what the hell are you going to put this down? You're going to need to put Dons to attack and then put him back in hand. The best thing is just keep him in hand as a 2k counter. Just something you can search with Ikram once again, and that's it. And for the boss, I guess, alabaster card. We just have this Straw Hat Luffy. 
I don't think this is a bad card. It's just once again difficult to work in this deck. And you know, we needed maybe something more. You know, for eight, eight cost, nine thousand is a decent amount. And you don't have a counter in hand. That maybe sucks a little bit, but banish is a really good thing to have. You know, attack life, they don't get any triggers and they don't get the card in hand. It just goes into the graveyard or trash. So I think it makes sense and he's searchable with uh, Ikram. That's why I decided to run him. The way I see it, doing a lot of research and just very just carefully trying to build the best VV deck, it doesn't make sense to run 9 or 10 cost boss characters because if you play those down, it means you can't use VV's leader effect. So I don't really see the point in running like the red 10 cost shanks uh, we get two of them. One has built-in rush already, and then the other one pops something from OP6. I don't see the point in running that. I don't see the point in running any of the, you know, blue, maybe Kaido 10 cards. They're, they're good. Kaido is good. That lets you draw three from OP5, but you're not going to get her effect. And because she can attack, we really just want to utilize her, her effect as much as possible. That's why. So you got to do eight or less of big characters so you can use her effect and give them rush this is for the same reason i'm not running any of the strong blue removal cards like red rock and the uh, crushing tiger uh, isha's move because they cost a lot you know those removal cards they cost like six and seven respectively and if you play those down if you have to use them from the hand, it means you're not getting any of the rush benefit from VV. So, it'd be great if they would always end up in the triggers, but that's not going to be the case. So we have to run, you know, more mediocre stuff like this Batmaner's Kick Course and Guard Point. So these are good because they got cheap costs. Guard Point, it just costs one. And if you can summon King, leave the Dawn open, and then use this next turn. And... It's a great trigger effect too. I mean, if you can get this in the trigger, one of your leader of characters gains a thousand. Having a bunch of events helps with Marco too, which I'm gonna get to. So that's the point. Same for Batmaner's Kick Course. Since we draw a lot of stuff, the discard might not hurt too much. If you get the trigger effect, it's good. If you have to hard cast it, hard use the counter in hand. It can also be pretty good. You can just discard something you don't need uh, that doesn't have like a counter or something maybe if you don't need luffy and it's an alabaster card too so you can search it with this guy so it, it sort of balances out uh, that's for the events i mean that's basically my reason and why i'm not running you know zoro 3000 worlds red rock crushing tiger you can't run them because if you cast those from the hand then you're not really summoning shit to use with vb okay so that's the red cards. Uh, I guess the last thing is the Marco. This is uh, the only non-Alabasta card, I think. Yeah. So this is just good because it's good. You summon him, you get to pop something with 3k. He sort of uh, combos with Chaka a little bit. So that's cool. And he's just a good red card. That's why I'm running him. I mean, 5 for 6. He's a counter in hand too. And uh, he's just a floater. You can just discard these events. Like if you... You can just discard these if you don't want to go minus with Batmaner's kick course. You don't get them in the triggers. You can just get rid of them and then make this guy revive. So it's great. Another nice combo. So I'm running him as another good, you know, mid-range 5 red card. You can give him rush and he can put in some work with 6k. Okay. Now for the blue cards. Uh, some stuff that's pretty standard in my head. you got to run this Weevil. Just a 4, 6k. So great attack for the cost, and he always gives you a, a draw one. Plus one, great. You know, you draw an additional with VV2, so you, just, you can accumulate a lot of cards with these uh, blue cards that let you draw, so it's great. Same for King. This is, I guess, the bigger guy. Seven for eight, and um, he does have a counter in hand, and he um, draws you a card. I mean, when I made this deck and used it, OP7 didn't come out. Uh, perhaps you can squeeze in if you really want to use this deck. You can use uh, 
Dracu Mihawk, seven warlords of the sea, more attack, same effect, you draw one, and he's gonna be pretty menacing. You don't get the counter effect too. Most of the time, I don't want to discard this card anyway, so perhaps it is better to just drop this and put the Mihawk in. But I'm not gonna be using this deck anymore or anytime soon, so I'm gonna show it how I used it. Then we got Ulti. This is just, uh, it's almost like they built this card to work with this deck, but I think she's just gonna be brought in in the future when we just get more and more dual leaders. She just gives you a free plus one no matter what. You're not gonna miss it. You can get any card out of the top three. It's like a pot of duality for Yu Gi Oh! Uh, the stats are solid for the cost, and she's a counter in hand too, so you can't go wrong with her. Uh, sexy card, gotta love those legs and those heels. So, you know, you get the perfect package. You get to run a sexy card, and she's broken too. And of course, she's in that range where, you know, five if you drop her and then you use VV to give a rush, she can still attack a leader, unless it's Whitebeard, and put pressure. So just having these pluses, cards that give you just a plus one all, all the time, is just important. So everything we drop giving us a plus one so we can have some defense. Once again, putting Fox that up. Uh, a lot of good cards, a lot of uh, 2k counter cards, you get that defense in hand. Uh, cards that give you double utility, you know, this guy. Um, just you just gotta your deck has to be on point with Vivi. Just no room for error. As you guys can see, it's just a lot of stuff played in force. Uh, Gion as well, just a 2k. You can drop her too, but I never do. I guess if you see your opponent is using a lot of events, maybe you you should. But just 2k, blue card, uh, nothing else, just use her as a 2k. Boa Hancock. Something I guess that Vivi can use. I don't believe we got like. Well, actually, we do. We get that um, uh, red. Ah, fucking, fucking motorcycles. We get that Mr. Tanaka from OP7 now, which is just a, a blocker that's cost three, I believe, and he's also a trigger. So maybe you can replace Boa with that guy. I don't remember. I think he doesn't have a counter, so maybe Boa is still gonna be better, but. She's just a blue card you can use in here, and she's a counter. So, runner, once again for that defense. Um, I don't have too many counters when you think about it. It's just these, these events, 8 and then 12 with Boa. Pretty much that's it. And then the events, I already touched upon them, why we run them. We can't run the other events. And this is the VV deck. Uh, when I made it before OP7 came out, I thought it was pretty on point. I thought I... Uh, this is going to be an effective way to use her, but it just wasn't enough. It just isn't enough when you can't attack the whole game, just giving something rush. She needed to be more broken. Um, no other way to go about it. So this is the profile. I'm going to probably just play Blue Crocodile again, because uh, we get a lot of good Seven Waters of the Sea shit in OP7. And uh, I'm looking forward to using them. I guess other cards you can try maybe using this deck is stuff like maybe Margaret, um, Amazon Lily, once again, new card from OP7. But when you use those types of cards, once again, it conflicts with Vivi. She's going to give you a draw. And then maybe you can, I guess, use these smaller dudes to attack. It's still not going to be enough. Like, it's going to have to be five or less to give Rush and then summon her but i just you don't really get the plus you gotta just use things like king to really make use of the rush she gives them uh, we, we also got that dragon from op7 too that just has rush automatically and is big so there's not really any point using her i just hate saying this oh well so that's the deck profile hope you guys enjoyed it regardless uh subscribe to the channel leave a like share the video with your friends and i'll see you guys next time what I...